So even if what Hillary Clinton did was bad, that is what aboutism, it is irrelevant. And if anybody tries to bring that up, all they are doing is obfuscating from the real point that they don't want to acknowledge, which is that Donald Trump brought home fucking classified documents to his goddamn house. Unless you are suggesting that the FBI and the federal court that okayed this search warrant are all biased against Donald Trump, then I don't know what to tell you. And if you do take that position, then you are a hopeless degenerate and I hope to God that you never breed. Why do you guys always turn this stuff around to be like, oh, daddy Trump is the poor victim. Like, do you think that Donald Trump did anything wrong here? Or do you genuinely think he was just at home, innocently raping his third hooker for the day, and then all of a sudden, kablam, the FBI just busts in out of nowhere because they, they don't like Trump? But first, we got to talk about what happened with Donald Trump, okay? So, long story short... Donald J. Trump had his beautiful Florida mansion raided by the FBI. That's right. Donald Trump, former president of the United States, had his home, his personal home, raided by the FBI. Now, right off the bat, you can assume how the conservatives are taking this. Hint, hint, not well. It's raining so many conservative tears, you're going to need a fucking umbrella. Technically speaking, they're crying so much, you could get a bucket and fill up their tears and try and, and solve world thirst. But again, the tears would be too salty and it wouldn't end up doing much. Uh, other than being maybe like a cool souvenir. So anyway, Trump raided by the FBI. Trump is mad about this. Um, I have no idea why, <laughs> lol. But... The reason for the raid was actually completely legitimate. Now, we already know that a little while back, his home that he took from the White House, some of those documents were marked as classified as well. I want you to make sure you're really hearing this and that it's, it's you know, going through your head. You're processing this, okay? President of the United States took classified documents out of the White House from the National Archives and brought them to his home. Think about how often conservatives will screech, whine, bitch, and moan, and also melt into a giant puddle of piss and cum every time Hillary Clinton's emails are brought up. Hillary Clinton, what she did with the email thing? Scummy. She wasn't the president of the United States. The president of the United States already has a higher standard placed upon him. There are greater expectations placed upon the president of the United States. So even if what Hillary Clinton did was bad, that is what aboutism, it is irrelevant. And if anybody tries to bring that up, all they are doing is obfuscating from the real point that they don't want to acknowledge, which is that Donald Trump brought home fucking classified documents to his goddamn house. We can read a couple more details about this from everybody's favorite, most reliable news source, CNN. Ha, <laughs> that's right. So, the FBI executes a search warrant at Trump's Mar-a-Lago in document investigation. So, let's go through this real quickly. So, the search began early Monday morning and law enforcement personnel appeared to be focused on the area of the club where Trump's office and personal quarters are. The FBI's search included examining where documents were kept, according to another person familiar with the investigation, and boxes of items were taken. Following the National Archive's recovering of White House records... From Trump's mansion in recent months, the FBI on Monday had to verify that nothing was left behind. Trump's son Eric told Fox host Sean Hannity that the purpose of the raid, from what they said, was because the National Archives wanted to corroborate whether or not Donald Trump had any documents in his possession. Christina Bob, Trump's attorney and the FBI seized, said the FBI seized documents. President Trump and his legal team have been cooperative with the FBI and DOJ officials every step of the way. The FBI did conduct an unannounced raid and seized papers. So the National Archives, charged with collecting and sorting presidential material, has previously said at least 15 boxes of White House records were recovered from Trump's resort, including some that were classified. So yeah, this wasn't like Donald Trump just showed up and was like, hi, can I please take this box home? They're like my little personal souvenirs, ooh woo. Donald fucking Trump took classified documents home and just had them sitting at his house. 
In early June, a handful of investigators made a rare visit to the property seeking more information about potentially classified material from Trump's time in the White House that had been taken to Florida. The four investigators, blah, 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 sat down with two of Trump's attorneys. It is a federal crime to remove classified documents wrongly, and if so, you are filling out that affidavit, and you have to list the crime. You can list that as the crime. Oof. Today is just about 90 days out exactly from the midterms. I think maybe 91 or 92 days out, that policy, that may be a reason why... Wait, hold on. So they're saying that it may have had motivation because of the election. <laughs> Dude, how can, how can conservatives get so fucking seething over, over the FBI raid, but they're not seething that the president possibly violated federal law and brought back classified documents? Like, do you... Do you see the problem here, guys? Presidents can declassify documents? Yeah, maybe, but probably not by just bringing them home to your house. Members of the GOP back Trump? Wow, I'm not surprised. Yeah, they're saying it's politicization. <laughs> when Republicans take back the House, we will conduct immediate oversight of this department, follow the facts, and leave no stone unturned. This is unprecedented. I don't know if there's ever been a time in history, maybe with Watergate, but I don't know. I don't know if there's ever been a time in history where a former sitting president of the United States has been raided in his personal home after the presidency. That is a pretty fucking big deal. This is unprecedented. And because it's unprecedented, that means we don't really have many historical references to point to, try to better understand what happened here, which is also another reason why the conservatives are able to run with this I mean, they are off the fucking rocker, dude. They're literally screeching to defund the FBI. That's right. Conservatives have reappropriated defund the police and they've remushed it to defund the FBI. I wonder if they would have the same opinion if the FBI was investigating for Islamic terrorism in the country. Hmm? You think that they would have that same opinion? Probably not, you know? But this is the thing with conservatives. The minute that any institution betrays their own desires, they will trash that institution immediately. The minute that the CDC says COVID is real and the vaccine is safe, fuck it. CDC sucks dick, okay? CDC more like cock, dick, cock. Ha! Fuck you guys. We're out. The FBI conducts a very legitimate raid on Donald Trump's home because he might have more classified information that he took, which is a federal crime. Well, fuck the FBI, okay? Fuck bitches, idiot. That's what the FBI stands for now. Urgh. Like, guys, take a step back, okay? Chill the fuck out and recognize that it's your daddy Trump that did something wrong to warrant this FBI raid. You realize it's not like the FBI is just like, oh... Um, we're bored. Let's go raid Donald Trump. That'll be fun. Ha ha. Like, that's not how this works. There was a search warrant, which means that it was approved by a judge. Unless you are suggesting that the FBI and the federal court that okayed this search warrant are all biased against Donald Trump, then I don't know what to tell you. And if you do take that position, then you are a hopeless degenerate. And I hope to God that you never breed. I can't even imagine this level of hypocrisy. Like, you guys get so mad about the Hillary Clinton email stuff. Where is this outrage when it's your daddy Trump? Let's go look at some of the cope tweets. It's unprecedented because we never had an idiot boy like Trump as president. True. Steven Crowder, who, as we all know, makes a living from slurping dog cum, says, dismantle the FBI, abolish the IRS. Any Republican not on, bar on board in 2022 is out. So right off the bat, we see the dogmatic approach that the right wing takes. Now, there's dogma on all sides of the political aisles. Don't get me wrong. But it's really, really transparent here in this tweet from Steven Crowder. Any Republican not on board with abolishing the IRS isn't a real Republican. You're just going to trash them. Like, are you fucking stupid? Are you deranged? I already know the answer is yes. But could you at least like pretend to act like a normal human being for once? in your entire godforsaken life? So dismantle the FBI. Why again? Pretty sure we kind of need the FBI. I'm, hmm, pretty sure that's a little bit necessary, right? Maybe you have issues with the FBI. Maybe you want to reform the FBI, have better oversight of the FBI. That's all fine. Go for it. Dismantle the FBI? So we have two options here. Is one, you chuckle fucks are either going to literally just get rid of the FBI and then just shrug your shoulders as the next uh, terrorist attack occurs. 
you'll just kind of shrug your shoulders and smirk because at least the FBI, which once raided Donald Trump's house for a very legitimate reason, is no longer in service. Haha. <laughs> or you guys are going to take the dipshit lefty approach where you get rid of the FBI and then replace it with the exact same institution. That's basically just the FBI. So you've just gotten rid of the FBI and replaced it with the FBI because you think you're smart. There's no winning here, okay? We need the FBI. The FBI benefits Americans. The FBI is able to keep an eye on domestic terrorists within the country. That is literally what the FBI does. Not only that, but the FBI also investigates child abductions, child molestations. They do all kinds of uh, preventative measures and whatnot. They are a necessary institution. So for you to talk about dismantling the FBI is apparent that you are once again going lefty route and you are just flashing a dumb slogan. That's it. I would love to sit down with Crowder and say, so what do you mean dismantle the FBI? What, what would that look like to you exactly? And he'd be like, well, you see, uh, let me get my fucking exclusive mug club. Do you know that it's filled with dog cum? <laughs> and then he goes, abolish the IRS. Part of this is because based Biden is implementing way more uh, IRS agents or he's putting in place more IRS agents, also putting IRS agents in that are armed. Part of the reason that the IRS audits poor people and doesn't audit rich people is partially understaffed. That is literally a fact of the matter. People within the FBI or IRS have even said this themselves. So that's really stupid. So if we beef up staff with the IRS, then maybe we can start, you know, auditing the rich people. The people that are actually taking advantage of tax loopholes and not paying their fair share in taxes? Maybe that would be a good idea. It's just really ironic to see a bunch of the fucking chuckle fuck conservatards who half of them are wealthy and make a fuck ton of money by grifting to their right wing base, seething about the IRS getting beefed up. It's almost like they're just admitting something. You know, conservatives, anytime they accuse the left of something, it's pretty much just them admitting to doing something themselves and projecting it on the left. I feel like this is that all over again. Abolish the IRS. Why, Crowder? If you've paid your fair share in taxes, you should have nothing to worry about, right? I pay my fair share in taxes. I haven't done any tax fraud. I haven't taken advantage of any fucking loopholes that allow for the, you know, billionaires to pay $700 in taxes, okay? I pay my fair share in taxes. I'm totally cool with the IRS getting beefed up. Fuck yeah. I mean, I don't want to be audited. That would be kind of a pain in the ass. But hey, if they have to, fuck it. I don't have anything to hide. But for some reason, it seems as though you and your Republican cronies don't want the IRS to be beefed up, which, I don't know, it seems a little bit strange to me. Any Republican not on board in 2022 is out. Uh, so if you're a Republican who doesn't support getting rid of the FBI and thinks it's good to actually tax people and enforce taxation, then, uh, you know, you're done for. So yeah, basically FBI did a, a valid and warranted search of Big Daddy Trump, so now FBI bad. This is the NPC level that conservatives have reached. It is despicable to me. Actually fucking disgusting. Only judges can issue search warrants, and they must find, based on sworn testimony, that there is probable cause that such evidence or items will be found in the location described in the warrant. This means that a judge must have found that there was probable cause that either a crime has been committed or that Trump was illegally possessing items taken from the White House. The FBI's request for a search warrant might also have indicated concern that these documents would either be destroyed or moved off of the premise. So that's the first thing to remember, is that this isn't just, like, the FBI being corrupt. This is, like... They had evidence, or at least they believed they had evidence. There are also potential policy hurdles. In tw February 2020, then Attorney General William Barr announced new restrictions that require the FBI and other law enforcement agencies to get permission from the Attorney General before investigating presidential candidates or their staff. Wait, given the generally strong tradition of political independence at the Justice Department, it's not surprising that President Joe Biden and his aides were not informed in advance of the raid and found out on Twitter. Okay, a federal grand jury requested by the Justice Department has been investigating the presence of potentially classified documents at Trump's estate since at least early May 2022. It seems likely that something has happened recently to cause this urgent search. One possibility is that the search warrant was issued based on information gathered in one or more of the criminal investigations involving 2020 election interference. Okay, so... In particularly, the Department of Justice on July 12th obtained a warrant to search the cell phone of John Eastman, Trump's former lawyer, 
As hearings by the January 6th committee have revealed, Eastman was a primary architect of the plan to block Congress from certifying Biden's victory. Okay, so in, in less than three minutes, we were able to read two different articles that basically blew out of the water every single dipshit conservative talking point. Let's see if, like, Matt Walsh is screaming or anything about this. I'm sure he is. Well, you know what? Let's check out Michael Knowles first, because he's even dummer. Like clockwork. Knowles Stradamus strikes again. Yesterday, the- Wait, you can't give yourself a nickname when you already are nicknamed Michael Knowles. Okay? You don't get to name yourself Knowles Stradamus or whatever the fuck that means. Also- uh, mind you, <laughs> this is a good little point that gives me a great time to throw this in here. Conservatives do this a lot. They will screech conspiracy after conspiracy after conspiracy, make a fuck ton of unbased claims. They will literally just screech bullshit. And then if one of those things happens to be true later on, they preach that they were right all along. Like, no, you don't get to just make up bullshit and then if one of those things tangentially happens in the future, get to claim that you were right all along. You cannot post hoc rationalize your illogical conspiracy bullshit. That's not how this works, okay? James Mitchell, thank you for the $2. Hunter, he meant Nolistra dumbass. <laughs> now that's a good one. Okay, Michael, proceed with your, your nonsense. FBI raided Donald Trump's home at Mar-a-Lago. And Beast. in this case, Beast. I truly hate to say, I told you so. This timing was even weirder than you know about. Allie and I were here, and Allie was in Nashville. We were filming some stuff. We were discussing whether or not we would bet on Trump winning re-election in 2024. And I said, look, I love the guy. I voted for him twice. If he were the nominee in 2024, I would happily vote for him. So you love the guy. Keep in mind for how much, much legwork he does condemning the moral degeneracy of the left for being accepting of trans people, yet the dude who's cheated on his wife repeatedly with fucking porn stars, he loves that guy. Third time. I even think most people would vote for him, especially after this terrible administration we've got right now. But I said, I would not bet on Trump winning in 2024 because there's just one reason. I am not sure that the powers that be will let him win. Okay, so conspiracy right off the bat. What do you mean powers that be? Do you mean like the FBI conducting a legitimate raid that was approved by a fucking judge? Is that, do you, okay, okay, cool. So Michael Knowles, let it be known, is unironically now suggesting that all of the FBI involved with the raid and the literal judge and the attorney general we're all just, yeah, fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, go raid that bitch boy. <laughs> no, no. You are a moron if you think that. That is, that's not feasible. Like, what do you honest to God think is more likely? And keep in mind with Occam's razor and whatnot, it's better to go with the lesser miracle. OK, it doesn't mean that the miracle or the greater miracle is necessarily incorrect, but it means that it's probably more rational to go with the lesser miracle. So what do you think is more likely? All of these major institutions, the attorney general and a fucking federal judge were all just anti-Trump. They had a massive hate boner for Trump. So they authorized an invalid search of Donald Trump's property or we already know for a fact that Donald Trump had classified documents at his home, which we knew this several months ago now. And then they were concerned that there might be more classified documents at his home. So they carried out a raid to be sure that there wasn't. Like, what do you think is more likely here? These people are, are hopeless. Talking about the FBI, the DOJ, the deep state, the crooks who changed all the- The deep state? Really? Okay, well, I'm sorry that for all the talk you do of the deep state, your wife can't even get halfway to the deep state. Election rules last time. The big tech cartel, the whole blob. I'm not just talking about Biden or the House Democrats. I'm talking about the whole array of established interests. I just don't know that they will let Trump win whatever the voters they, want. Okay. They will not let Trump win. Okay, when, when we're talking about the liberal establishment, we're talking about groups that have a lot of power groups that already use that power to rig the election in 2020. I don't see any Are reason. Are you kidding me right now? Holy it. shit. Oh my God. He's even worse than I thought. So of course I knew that Michael Knowles was, was 
Oh, I'm gonna try hard to resist the R slur here, okay? Um, special. However, this is like a new level, okay? This is like, we are on a special bus full of people on crack cocaine at the same time. That is where we're at. He is like special on steroids. This is, this is bizarre to me. So first, he's going, the deep state, oh, the deep state this, the prostate that. And then he's going, they're not gonna let him win, even though it was a totally legitimate search. And then, the election was rigged. My man, my brother in Christ, you're lost. People will make fun of me or get mad at me for using a lot of insults, but when I start to talk to people like this, who are so deranged, so lost, and everything they say is just provably incorrect, then what else is there left for me to do besides laugh hysterically at these chuckle fucks and hope to God that he gets kicked in the balls hard enough so he won't be able to breed any further? Like, what else is there for me to do? What, like, what do you want me to do? Guys, now we all know the election wasn't rigged. Here's the 10 bazillion facts that prove that correct. Dude, after a while, there's nothing left to do except make fun of this fucking moron. Let's see how much further we can get into this, uh, this, this Michael No Less video, which, mind you, at this point feels like watching one of those, like, found footage clips of someone in an insane asylum talking to themselves. And now that they are even more fully ensconced in power. It's just something about Trump, more so than other Republicans. They just hate this guy. They hate the way that he shakes things up. And I just didn't know if they're going to let him. Yeah, yeah, or maybe they just hate that he's breaking the law by bringing classified documents back to his house. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, maybe the FBI just doesn't like Trump because for some reason. Um, but I feel like a better explanation here is probably that the Department of Justice and the FBI weren't exactly really big fans of Donald Trump breaking the motherfucking law. If that to you is shaking things up, bro, huh? I'm just, I'm just shaking stuff up. Oopsies, ooh, ooh, I just happened to break the law. <laughs> An hour of that conversation with Allie, the FBI raided President Trump's home, Mar-a-Lago, reportedly looking for classified documents that he had there. That was the, that was the presumptive basis for the raid. The F are you going to talk about that part at all, or is you, are you just going to kind of brush over that and go back to how you were right because they will not let Donald Trump come to power? FBI, which never raided Hillary Clinton for the 30,000 emails containing classified info that she had on a server at her home. The FBI, which has yet to raid Hunter Biden's home, despite video evidence of him committing national security, yet to raid 1,000 emails containing classified info. So we're right off the bat already to uh, Hunter Biden, uh, Hillary Clinton. All whataboutism. All of it. It can literally be ignored and disregarded. Everything he says about Hunter Biden, whether it is true or false, is irrelevant to whether or not the FBI's search warrant of President Donald Trump's home was justified or not. You're not proving your point. You're just gesturing to something else because you don't like the fact that your big daddy Trump had his house searched. Not to mention, Hillary was also investigated by the FBI she had on a server at her home, the FBI, which has yet to raid Hunter Biden's home, despite video evidence. Please, of FBI, don't raid my home. I'm not Hunter Biden, I promise. Of him committing national security compromising crimes. That same FBI is now focusing all of its attention on raiding the home of Joe Biden's most prominent and most popular political opponent. Not just a former president. Damn, pretty fucked up that his most popular opponent is also somebody that broke the law. Why do you guys always turn this stuff around to be like, oh, daddy Trump is the poor victim? Like, do you think that Donald Trump did anything wrong here? Or do you genuinely think he was just at home, innocently raping his third hooker for the day, and then all of a sudden, kablam, the FBI just busts in out of nowhere because they, they don't like Trump? Like, what do you really think, dude? Come on. This is such cope. Don't forget, the guy who is currently leading in the polls by a long shot for the Republican nomination in 2024, the biggest political threat to Joe Biden. Now, ironically, the raid has a paradoxical effect. On the one hand, it proves my point. It shows that the establishment will do absolutely anything to stop Trump in 2024. On the no, it shows that there's still a semblance of law and order in this country. Hey, remember how that was the Republican slogan for a really long time? Remember law and order? with the BLM stuff. Remember how uh, there were Republicans that were advocating to literally turn the fucking military on its own citizens during the BLM stuff? 
Remember that one? Remember? Law and order. Well, this is law and order, chuckle fuck. Welcome to the little place in America that we like to call law and order. It's what happens when you break the law, and then that law will be enforced, and then we restore order. It makes Trump's admirers, myself included, even more inclined than perhaps we already were to support him again. Where does that leave us? So you're more likely to support President Trump after he brought home the classified documents? So wait, Trump broke the law, allegedly. Then the FBI further searched his home to ensure that there were no other documents that were classified left behind at his fucking personal house. That makes you want to vote for Trump again? Well, then, you know, you're basically just confirming what we've already known is you are an inbred dipshit Neanderthal who, honest to God, seems to be the spawn of Satan if Satan had a mental illness. Yes. Does that leave us with Trump 2024? DeSantis 2024, Cruz 2024, Biden 2024. No, it leaves us with a banana republic in 2022 and no end in sight to the corruption. Right now, go to altoira.com. Boo. Yeah, speaking of corruption, who's sponsoring your dumbass? Oh my God. We will have to fight this corruption. Tomorrow means war. The next day. Hey guys, today 10% off for your uh, local fucking sponsor. Use promo code Michael no Less has AIDS and you will get 15% off your Patriot Supply. We don't know when the world is going to end, guys, and that's why you need to buy this giant bucket of fucking powder. Nobody gives a fuck about your stupid fucking sponsor. Also, he's sponsored by a crypto account? <laughs> okay. Trump is just different and they hate Trump in a special way. And you're going to see all sorts of political stops, you know, absolutely no holes barred. You're going to see uh, illegal actions. You already have seen illegal actions by these same groups, by the FBI, by the DOJ. Even though I predicted it, it doesn't make it less offensive and less shocking. That we're, we're now descended into such banana republic level nonsense that you've got the president sicking the federal government, sicking federal law enforcement on his main political opponent. Wait, this is just a flat out bull faced lie. Biden had nothing to do with the search warrant. Nothing. Biden didn't even know it was fucking happening. Oh no. Joe Biden was not given advance notice of a raid on former President Donald Trump's Florida home, stressing that the Justice Department conducts investigations independently. No one at the White House was given a heads up. The president was not briefed, was not aware of it. White House spokeswoman Karine Jean Pierre, Pierre told reporters. Very interesting right here. So, um, Michael Knowles is blatantly lying. Completely. I'm going to comment, okay? Legit sad that so many inbred dipshits watch this pathetic man-child lie over and over again. Trump broke the law. He faced the consequences. Law and order back the blue. Ha ha. If this happened in, in Brazil, forget that. if this happened in Syria, if this happened in Iraq, we would, we would say this is illegitimate. This is ridiculous. What a sham democracy they've got in these sorts of places. And now we're seeing it happen in our own country. If Iraq executed a legitimate search warrant after going through all the necessary processes while also not informing the president to ensure that there was independent action being taken, we would all be really mad. What does this have to do with anything? What are you even saying? Pathetic. What was this about? According to the New York Times, according to the, the paper of record of the liberal establishment, the raid was focused on material that Trump had brought with him to Mar-a-Lago. All right, let's, let's hear Michael Knowles now deny reality and instead defer to nothing but, well, my butthole tingles, so therefore it's correct. My fifis are right. Club and residence. After he left the White House, those boxes contained many pages of classified documents. Oh, he had classified documents in places he shouldn't have had them, like Hillary, like Hillary Clinton on her server, 30,000 emails with classified material, and she just wiped it clean before, before federal law enforcement could find it. You Not remember, hey, what does that have to do with Trump? Even if there was hypocrisy there, it doesn't mean that what Trump did wasn't bad. Not that federal law enforcement was ever really going to look, like kind of like that. By the way, the, the president has the right to declassify whatever he wants. So I, I'm not saying it's, it's right for Trump to take classified material, if that's even what he did. But- while he was president, he could have declassified that material. You're telling me the FBI is going to raid the home of a former president and even, even more shocking, future presidential candidate, likely future presidential candidate, over the Presidential Records Act? That's it? I don't. Yes, actually. 
Surprise, motherfucker. Yes, we have laws in this country, and these laws need to be upheld. And guess what? Nobody is above the law. I know that you wish that your big daddy Trump was actually above the law. Legitimately, you would appreciate that. However, that's not how this works, okay? Because contrary to your delusional pea-brained mindset, we do not live in a sham democracy. And in this country, everybody is held to the fucking law. I don't care if you're the Joe schmuck down the road or if you're the former sitting president of the United States of America. No one is above the law. If what Trump did was illegal, then Donald Trump is going to face the consequences. That's called a personal responsibility, Michael. I'm pretty sure you talk a lot about that whenever you're talking about black people. If only you could apply this to Trump as well. New York Times goes on, Trump also faces a criminal investigation from the Justice Department over alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. There we go. Okay, now we're getting a little more real. They're upset because Donald Trump pointed out that the election was rigged. The election was not rigged, and that's not what they're upset about. That they're not able to issue a search warrant because they're upset about Donald Trump making false claims. That that has nothing to do with it. You realize that, right? Also, the election wasn't rigged. You remember that saying, every time you say a fairy doesn't exist, the fairy loses her wings? It's kind of like that, but reverse for these people. It's like, if I say the election was rigged over and over and over again, then it will literally become true. Classification authority. The authority to classify information originally may be exercised only by the president and in the performance of executive duties, the vice president, agency heads, and officials designated by the president in the federal register. Donald Trump being a former president cannot just bring home declassified uh, information and then just be like, well, today they're declassified, bitch. There's a process you need to go through. You don't just take classified shit and leave and then say, well, I'm the president. I can declassify stuff, right? He just pointed it out. They changed all the election rules right before the election, and they made it much more vulnerable to fraud, even by the standard of Barack Obama. And One, they did not change all the rules. Two, what do you mean more vulnerable? Are you talking about mail-in voting, which, by the way, affects positively Republican states? Or what Like, what, what exactly are you getting at? Are you just going to keep on making vague bullshit lies? In some cases, they violated the state constitutions. When? In, in different states. When? Yeah, Where? It was rigged. Wait, can you give us an example? Where the hell do they violate the Constitution? Uh... Duh, hello, and he, everyone knows that. The libs even admitted that they rigged the thing. There was a whole what? big magazine article afterward, how we rigged the election such that it was m more advantageous for Democrats and, and disadvantageous to Republicans. What? I tried to find that magazine article, there's nothing. So, are the Democrats in the room with you right now, Michael? And then when you say, right back to them, what they just told you, they say, you're not allowed to say that. That's a crazy conspiracy theory. Believe us, don't believe your own lying eyes. Finally. Y yes, actually, yep. That, uh, maybe that's controversial. I don't give a fuck. Yes, actually. Sometimes you defer to the data over your fucking bullshit eyes. First of all, you lie about literally everything. I would not trust you to tell me the color of the sky. I would not trust you to tell me the date of the day. I would not even trust you to, uh, to, to be able to make like a, a piece of toast without potentially blowing up your entire fucking house. So that's the first thing. Second of all, why do I always have to bring up this exact same example? I know I sound like a broken record, but still... If we did this your way and only deferred to our eyes, we would all still believe that the world was flat. Sometimes you defer to the data. For example, when it comes to an election of 300 million people, pretty sure, maybe I'm wrong, pretty sure data is going to be more valuable than, well, I was walking down the street after picking up my 7-Eleven and I saw an election booth and they took out a big bucket of ballots. Clearly, this was faked. This was a rigged election. <laughs> Literally, just shut the fuck up or go back to your goddamn trailer park, Michael Knowles. The only reason you have any kind of popularity is because you're signed with Daily Wire. If you weren't, you would be locked in a mental asylum where you belong. Prosecutors have also reportedly asked about Trump's alleged attempt to pressure Vice President Mike Pence to overturn the results of the election. So now, Trump isn't even allowed to publicly say that he wants the Vice President to invoke a kind of measure that we saw... What do you mean not allowed to say? He said it and was allowed just fine. Do you, Wait, do you think that they were like, Judge, you see, Donald Trump tried to pressure Mike Pence. That's why we need to raid his home. How would What would the raid even do in helping with an issue involving pressuring Mike Pence? Like, what are you even getting at right now, dude? What is your argument? Not that it's frequently invoked in American history, but which is not unprecedented to object to the certification of certain slates of electors in the election. We, we did see this in the 1870s. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yep. Objecting to certain slates of the electors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. And 
And there was a process that came out of that, which uh, is a process that Senator Cruz and Representative Paul Gosar suggested that we have a kind of presidential election commission afterward to analyze the many irregularities that took place in 2020 when they changed all the rules in some cases. Wait, they didn't change all the rules. What rules were changed, Michael? Can you give me a single example? It's illegally. It's all that. What that now? That's Wait, the, now, where? So what's you the can't just say they changed the rules illegally and not give an example. What? <laughs> You're just asserting things. How are you this fucking dumb? This is for the right. It's that or it's the, the fact that he may have had some documents at his home like Hillary Clinton did or the fact that he complained about, about the election. What is it? What is it? It's the document thing. That's the only justification for the raid. That was the reason for the warrant. Other things were, were tangentially involved, but that was not the main motivator for the raid. Michael, I've answered your question. Congratulations. As far as I can tell, there are three options here for what this raid is about. There are, th there are only three. Op the, the most shallow option is that this was just routine FBI work. This is just routine DOJ, nothing to do with Biden, nothing to do with stopping Trump from running in, in 2024. None of that, right? It's that out of hand. You don't raid the president's home over the stupid Presidential Records Act. No, actually. That's the most realistic thing, considering the fact that the Biden administration didn't even know that the raid was taking place. You are coping mad right now, dude. Second option here. The, this is an attempt to kill Trump's candidacy in 2024 in the cradle. This is an attempt to wield federal law enforcement to stop Trump from running in 2024 because the Democrats think that he would beat them and they just simply will not. How would a raid on his property prevent him from running? I mean, you realize that when Hillary Clinton was investigated by the FBI in 2016, it's argued that that actually did sink her political campaign and caused her to lose to Trump. Does that mean all the establishment was rigged against Hillary Clinton at the time? And they can't beat him at the ballot box in a fair and square election. So they're going to just raid his home and try to stop him from running in 2024. Or there's a third possibility. This is the 4D chess possibility uh -huh. that actually this was an attempt to ensure a Trump candidacy in 2024. That by raiding the home, by targeting Trump, he becomes a martyr. Whatever support other candidates were getting in the Republican Party, now that goes right back to Trump. These Republicans say, we got to double down. If they're going to come after him, he's got to be our nominee. What? And that in a kind of 4D chess way, that's what the Democrats want because they feel that they can beat him in 2024. Those are the three options. All of these options, you realize, except for the first one, which you said is bullshit, which is the most correct, um, are completely obliterated the moment you realize that the White House was unaware of the raid. That's there. There's that. Also, yeah, whenever they say 4D chess, they're just about to assert some dumb fuck conspiracy theory. That's it. Which do I think is most likely? Number two. I, I don't think that the Democrats play 4D chess all that well. Sometimes they do. Sometimes, sometimes people in politics play 4D chess. But when you're looking at a situation, especially where there's so many variables where things can spiral out of control, usually the simpler answer is correct. So maybe it was just a routine search based on Donald Trump breaking federal law. Does that is that what that means? Then we're going to go with that one, right? In this case, the idea that it was just routine FBI work, I think, is absurd and not backed up by precedent. The idea that it was 4 d chess and they really secretly want to support Trump. Or it doesn't what? need to be backed up by precedent for it to still be legitimate. I don't really buy that. I think the established, I think, I think that my thesis from the very beginning was correct, and I think it's being proven more correct every day. The libs simply will not tolerate a, a Donald Trump second term. So what Michael Knowles is doing here is actually really common in Christianity as well. And this is part of the reason why I think there's such a large overlap with Christianity and conservatism. And that is this narrative that any time you face action or consequences for your actions, that that is somehow you being persecuted. So what we have here is Michael Knowles asserting they'll do anything to stop Trump, boo-hoo. Okay, well, if you believe that, any... Well, if you believe that anything that happens to Donald Trump, anytime he is held responsible for all of the bullshit that he did, well, that's just him being persecuted, you know? If Donald Trump is found guilty of, of raping four puppies and gets sentenced to like two years in prison, well, it's just the liberal establishment. They, they faked the DNA evidence. They, this liberal establishment, no matter what happens, they can always just say it's the liberal establishment. They always have that. It's a get out of jail free card, essentially. And the Christianity stuff, Christians do the exact same thing. Because in the Bible, it says they will persecute you for your beliefs or whatever. That makes it so that whenever you say, hey, Steve, please, can, can you be quiet? We're at the cookout. Just stop talking about how God had to... Uh, do a bloody human sacrifice in order to appease himself to save us from himself. Please, Steve, not now, okay? Maybe later we can talk about this, okay? <gasps> well, I'm being persecuted for my beliefs, just like the Bible said. And they're able to do that over and over and over again.
If you criticize a Christian and they perceive that as being unfair, they can instantly just defer to the Bible. Well, the Bible said I'm going to be persecuted, so I guess I'm doing something right. And then anytime Trump faces any kind of consequences for his actions, for possibly breaking the law, well, that's just the evil liberal establishment. It is a get out of jail free card. And they will do everything they can. Even Hunter, you need to post more shorts of your debates. They seem to have crazy amounts of community reach. Where do you mean? Do you mean on TikTok? Because I'm banned on TikTok and I'm still coping about it, okay? Even if it throws the, the nation into a kind of banana republic status, even if it violates the law, even if it violates all of our political norms, they will do anything it takes. They will use any means necessary to stop Trump 2024. I'm so glad. Oh, that's it? Okay. Any means necessary. So then why didn't, th why didn't they just like raid his house? Why didn't they just arrest him then? Why would they even go through the process of obtaining a search warrant getting a fucking judge to sign off on it, making sure it's approved by the attorney general. Like, why would they go through that process? And if you're already alleging conspiracy and disregard for any kind of, of process and they don't respect our democracy and all this shit, then why would they do that? If that were the case, why would they go through the processes that were necessary? It just doesn't make sense, dude. Coming to you live from the law and order side. It's all law and order unless Daddy Trump breaks the law. Then it's it's no law and order. Then it's abolish the law. And just like that, the conservatives became Antifa.